The first idea was that we would teach two skits. One was about Native Americans having their land repossessed, and the other was about Thanksgiving. Today's a fairly easy day. Tomorrow, you'll have to teach what's in these envelopes. So let's go outside and we'll answer any questions you have about the kids. I'm a maid. I'm a maid. Yeah, you're yeah, a Witto. Witto? Yeah. Witto. Yeah, right now on the back. Now. We'll do it here. Maori Witto. I'll yeah. remember that. Yeah. Uh, Kifla. <laughs> Maori Witto. Maori Witto. I'm a white man, you're black. Okay. I could have told you that in English. <laughs> This place is really cool. I've never seen anything like it. It's depressing in a sense that, I mean, it's a reservation for people who are basically pushed off their land and now they're trying to preserve what they once were. Oh, what's your name? Katerina. Katerina. Nice to meet you. Warbin is a happy place. It's a sad place for those on the outside looking in. Boom! Big eyes. I gotta read my story. I gotta figure out what's going on here. I'm tripping why they, why they gotta know about Thanksgiving, though. You know what I'm saying? You will be coming down to our class to meet our, our kids. Someone will have to teach the Chief Joseph story. Someone will have to teach the Thanksgiving story. If you were to teach them something about themselves, it'll make them learn faster because they this is them you know what i'm saying yeah. like i said in high school I, all, all i knew was one chapter in the book martin luther king and the slave ship after reading you know i realized that you know it's, we did more than that at the same time you got to teach that person a little something about themselves because if i go through life knowing what i read i'll never be a person i'll be a person with knowledge but never a person thanksgiving ain't got jack to do with these people over here in australia way over here in australia I disagree with the material in which we're teaching them. Oh, I just make you mad. We shouldn't be here. I'm so ashamed. Which white people are walking in? I didn't even know these people existed. Hi. Okay. Hi. I think we have no right to inflict white man's opinions on, on these kids. This but is I mean, MTV, even if it's just for the sakes of us to know there's more than just rich white people in this I already country. know. I already but I didn't know that. This whole thing is just bizarre. Go back to where we were. <laughs> Do, I want to definitely revise the Thanksgiving thing to fit them because I think it's a little um, racist. Do you want to read it? I don't want to read it. But it's got a good moral to the story. I know, I know the moral. The moral Why don't about, you just see what you're saying? That's all, that's all. No, that's all is important. The moral is important. They have a story. I know what the moral is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not too thrilled about Chief Joseph or Thanksgiving. Your family's what you know. Right, and that's what them. We know that. I mean, nobody likes being moved from where they were born and put somewhere else because somebody tells you to. Roger also said that there are kids not in school today because they're looking yeah, to be exactly. fed. And it's kind of like, you know what? Family's great and you can live with family, but, but family's not going to put food on the table all the time. I mean, we're talking about, right now, we're talking about the teaching aspect of this. If you know all this history, you know what I'm saying? You know all this history, what the white man teach you, you know all this, and go out there, and he don't accept you, what good is it? You know what I'm saying? What good is it? When you got to come back home because they won't accept you. Kept on going on and on and on, and I know that he's got such a strong opinion about this. That is fine. Now what good is it? It's now you got all this that's not even helping your folks. You got this that's not even helping your people. Help yourself. It's not, it's not about, see that's the thing. It's not about that. It's not about helping yourself. You come into this world alone, you leave this world alone. I don't know what you're talking about. But see, about. that's that's you probably came in this world alone. I came in this world in a family, you know what I'm saying? I came in this world in a black family, a black community. Nobody said a word in that classroom except for me. You, Kifa, you have a very powerful background with your family as well. Without that crutch, so to speak, then you're only you. When you come into this world from birth, you come in Kifla, bare-ass Kifla. Kifla, that's it. And when you leave this world, whether you're buried or whether whatever happens, you leave, not with any emblems, you leave Kifla. We all might, you know, live in the same world and things like that, but we're not the same. And this is plain and simple, we're not the same. People don't cross that line with Kifla because he's black. Give me a frickin' break, he's human.